Okay, so have you ever heard someone say like, speak it into existence or like, you know, be careful what you say. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, but yeah. like amplify, you know what I mean? Right. And so we're doing a deep dive today on this passage that we found. Yeah. And it's basically talking about like, our lips are magnets. Okay. And the words we speak can actually like attract or repel things from us. Interesting. It's pretty wild. Yeah. So, um, like manifest things. Yeah, kind of like manifestation, but it's like specifically focused on the words that we speak. Right. And it's pretty intense. Like there's some strong language in here. Okay. It talks about like magnetic force and how our words can bring things closer or push them further away. Mm. There's even a line that says like, your lips are determining your future. Wow. That's pretty powerful. So I'm like, okay, so if I just keep saying lottery win, lottery win, am I going to be rich? Well, you know, I think winning the lottery might take a little bit more than just saying it. But I think the basic idea here is that our words really do have power. Right. And there's actually a concept in psychology called a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, have you heard of this? I think so. But can you, like, explain it? Yeah, so basically it's this idea that what we believe and what we say to ourselves can actually influence our actions. Okay. And then those actions end up shaping our reality. So, like, if I keep saying I'm going to fail a test, I'm more likely to actually fail it. Exactly. Wow. Like, imagine a student who thinks they're bad at math, right? Right. They might get really anxious about tests. Hmm. They might avoid studying because they think it's not going to help anyway. Yeah. And then because they didn't study, they don't do well on the test. Right. And that just reinforces their belief that they're bad at math. Oh, wow. So they've basically created this, like, loop. Exactly. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. So it's not like magic words or anything. It's yeah. just like how our thoughts and words influence our actions. Right. It's like our mindset and our actions then lead to certain outcomes. Right. Okay. That makes sense. And this also ties into things like, you know, positive affirmations Okay. or manifestation. Like when you consistently say positive things about yourself, like mm -hmm. I am strong or I am capable. Right. It can actually boost your confidence. Okay. Which then makes you more likely to take actions that will lead to good things. So it's not that the words themselves are magic, but they kind of like set you up for success. Exactly. They prime your mind to see opportunities and to act in ways that support those beliefs. Right. Okay. That's really interesting. Yeah. So the source actually emphasizes this idea of like protecting our lips. Oh, interesting. Like choosing our words really carefully. Hmm. It even says we should like attract the life we want with the words we speak. Yeah, and I think this brings up a really important point about how our words impact other people too. Oh, right. It's not just about us. Yeah, it's not just about attracting good things for ourselves. It's also about how our words can influence our relationships. Mm. Like think about how good it feels when someone encourages you. Yeah. Or how much a mean comment can hurt. Right. Words can definitely have a big impact. Exactly. And this is where conscious communication comes in. Okay. So like thinking before we speak. Yeah. Like choosing words that build people up instead of tearing them down. Right. Because ultimately our words can create waves. Waves. Yeah. They don't just impact our own lives. They also affect the people around us. And even like society as a whole. Exactly. So oh. it's important to be mindful of the words we choose. Right. Because they have the power to shape the world around us. So to sum up what we've been talking about, basically words have a huge impact. Yeah. Not in a like mystical lips as magnets way. Right. But because they influence our thoughts, mm -hmm. our actions, mm -hmm. and how we interact with the world. And the people around us. Yeah. And true. I think it goes beyond just attracting good things for ourselves. It's also about using our words responsibly. Right. To create a more positive world. Absolutely. For ourselves and for everyone around us. That's a really great point. Yeah. Well, I think that about wraps up our deep dive for today. Yeah. But I want to leave you all with this question to think about. Okay. What words are you going to choose to speak into existence today? Hmm. What kind of impact are you going to make with your words? That's a great question for everyone to consider. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.